Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. This is my market wrap up for today, Friday, the 20th of October 2017. <laughs> New records across the board. Uh, an incredible rally with regard to this stock market, and it seems like it's unstoppable. Again, no real secret to any of you that have been following this blog. But, we need to pay attention to a few things. I am still bullish on this market. Again, a few things are raising my eyebrows. And this morning, in the video I did earlier, I had said specifically that I just got this feeling that, that this market is, is getting ahead of itself. And I was a little leery about holding positions into the weekend, by the way. I did close SLV today with a fractional loss. Right now I am holding no positions. I, I just don't trust this weekend. I don't know if North Korea is going to decide to pull something off. I just, there's no reason I think at this point for me uh, to hold cash through the weekend. I will reevaluate on Monday. And that's important. That's what I want to talk about what's coming next week. The fear and greed index. I posted a picture of it on my Steam It blog earlier today. It's near 100%. So we are in a state of extreme greed. When you see this, it's a bearish sign. And it may, it may be a tell of what's coming next week. But again, the market seems like nothing wants to stop it. Tech. Let's talk about tech here. It's important. We're going to get a slew of earnings next week, a lot of it from the tech sector. Um, in order for this rally here that we've been seeing to continue without any kind of a pullback, I mean, we haven't had anything in the, I can't even remember the last time we had a pullback, honestly. Um, we're going to need to get some guidance here from the tech sector. So keep the cues on your radar screen. Um, and I promise to keep all of you on top of that as well. The dollar, the dollar strength today is what really um, made me close that position on SLV. Got real strong here. Now we know the Fed's not going to allow this to continue. They're going to do something to squash it. And um, I think we need to keep our eye on that as well. So we got the strong dollar moving into next week. That is stock market negative. We got the fear and greed index near 100%. That is stock market negative. But we got cash coming out of the bond market. It's going to look for somewhere to go. That is stock market positive. All right. Uh, and then we got all these earnings coming in. So this is what I think is getting set up here. Tell me if you think this sounds illogical to you. So cash, again, leaving the bond market, looking for somewhere to go. Um, I think this cash here that's leaving the bond market is waiting for tech. It's waiting to hear what tech is going to do. If we start getting some you know, good earnings with, more importantly, forward guidance that is strong with regard to tech, that cash leaving the bond market is going to go into technology. So this is why I'm saying keep an eye on the cues. If we do not get this, um, again, this, this fear and greed index peaking near 100 and that strong dollar may weigh on the market. So we need to be very diligent next week. And um, we may have to do some slick maneuvering in this market to uh, try to stay ahead of it. Like I said, right now I got nothing open. I'm going to wait to see what happens on Monday. I'll do a video early Monday. I'll talk about positions right there. Uh, probably by 7 a.m. Pacific time, so the market will be open by by like a half of an hour by the time I do that video, so we can get a grasp on what's occurring. Um, this is another an a couple of other things I want us to keep in mind here. If this market starts to sell off one day next week, I'm not saying it's Monday. I don't know when. It might not sell off at all, but if it does, because of that fear and greed gauge, it could sell off kind of rapidly, and we want to we want to collect on that seriously 
Um, so we might want to take up a short position against one of the indices at that time. It's something I'm thinking about. I promise I'm going to think about this all weekend. I'm going to look at charts. I'm going to look at all kinds of stuff. And I will keep every single one of you on top of this come Monday because we're going to rip its face off and everything else. There's no doubt about it. All right. With that said, please have a happy and safe weekend. And I'll see you Monday morning early like I said around 7 a.m. Pacific time so I hope to see you here we're going to talk about what's going on and we're going to find a way to capitalize on this because there's always opportunity with that said I'll see you Monday over now